The downfall of one of the most powerful players in Hollywood. Welcome to Access Hollywood, Harvey Weinstein. All of Hollywood knows him. You've probably heard of him. Yeah, he's the man behind Shakespeare in Love, Pulp Fiction, The English Patient. I mean, I could go on, on and on and on. But now he's being accused of sexually harassing actresses and assistants over the course of three decades. He has admitted to misconduct. Let's begin, though, with Ashley Judd's own account. If Harvey's stripping, I'm leaving. That was Ashley joking about Harvey at the Cannes Film Festival in 2004, about seven years after, she says, Harvey made indecent proposals to her at the Peninsula Beverly Hills Hotel. According to the front page New York Times article, Ashley, then 29, arrived for what she thought was a breakfast meeting about her career. But instead, Weinstein had her sent to his suite, where he greeted her in a bathrobe and eventually asked if he could give her a massage. He then suggested she watch him shower. Ashley is just one of many women who, according to the Times, over a nearly three decade period has accused Weinstein of sexually harassing them. The women include Rose McGowan, an assistant in New York, one in London, film industry workers in Hollywood, and an Italian model. Ashley and Rose are getting lots of support from colleagues, including Oscar winner Brie Larson and filmmaker Judd Apatow, who denounced Harvey. Also from Lena Dunham, who posted, the women who chose to speak about their experience of harassment by Harvey Weinstein deserve our awe. It is not fun or easy, it's brave. Harvey, how is your life taking? I'm not asking Today, as his lawyers prepare a lawsuit against the Times for alleged inaccuracies, Weinstein smiled and waved to paparazzi as he exited his West Village townhouse in New York, saying he needed to go to work. In these photos obtained by the DailyMail.com, Harvey's wife, designer Georgina Chapman, left one hour later managing a smile. This after Harvey announced yesterday he was taking a leave of absence following the New York Times scathing report. The Times article claims that over the decades, at least eight women have received financial settlements from him, a claim Weinstein denies. What did he say when you walked out in this beautiful dress, which is made by... You guys, why didn't you make that for me? <laughs> after some tough conversations with Georgina, Harvey says he has her support along with his five children. Weinstein chalks up his behavior to growing up in the 60s and 70s and says he is now on a journey to conquer his demons. And in a controversial call, he has hired civil rights attorney Lisa Bloom to be his advisor. She has represented women who brought sexual harassment claims against former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly. I'm representing him as an advisor on how to navigate through this with some dignity and some decency. You know, we've seen the old model where people go on attack on the women. Uh, Harvey's not doing that. He doesn't agree with some of the allegations, but that's not important. What's important to him is to say that he offers his sincerest apologies. He feels terrible about pain that he has caused anyone, and he is going to work on himself to become a better person. Did you think it might spark backlash considering you are a champion of mm -hmm. women's rights? Uh, yeah, I knew it would spark backlash, but you know, as an attorney, we don't just represent perfect people. His heart is in the right place, and he needs to get his behavior to comport with that. Now, it may seem puzzling that a women's rights attorney would advise Harvey on this, but they actually started working together over a year ago when his studio bought the rights to develop her book about the life of Trayvon Martin. She says that's when he asked her for help changing his behavior. We've laid out the accusations leveled against Weinstein, but as far as who is Harvey Weinstein, well, he wears many hats, studio executive, producer, Oscar marketing whiz, and star maker. I certainly don't know where I would be without them. They hired me when nobody else would, when I was 19 years old. Hired by Harvey for three movies in the 90s alone, Gwyneth would go on to win the Best Actress Oscar for the Weinstein-produced Shakespeare in Love in 1999. Every time she's been in one of my movies, she's just graced it. We've done 10 movies together. Can you handle Harvey Weinstein if he says, I want to change a few shots, I want to do this, can you? I handled Harvey Weinstein for four years. All right. And we, uh, we, we work out quite well. 
Harvey helped transition Salma Hayek into an award caliber actress for 2003's Frida. He did the same for Renee Zellweger, earning three nominations in three years, first for Bridget Jones' Diary. A win for 2003's Cold Mountain and a nomination for 2002's Chicago, a film that also had Harvey turning Queen Latifah into a movie star. She earned an Oscar nomination for the role, and Harvey was one of her first post-nom calls. I call Rob, I call Harvey, I'm so proud of him, I'm so glad that he's worked so hard to really get this movie out to the masses and just make it happen. Just what does Harvey do to get all these nominations? Well, there is a long history of his company whining and dining Academy members with meet and greets, private screenings, and personal phone calls. And it has worked with 303 nominations and 75 wins. Dana Harris, editor-in-chief of IndieWire, is here. And Dana, how powerful is Harvey in Hollywood? Well, it depends on what time uh, you're asking. I mean, at the moment, he is, he's still, a, he's a huge figure. He always will be a huge figure because of what he's done in the industry. At this particular moment, he doesn't have the same power that he's had in the past. This behavior was well known over 30 years of this pattern of behavior. How was it able to continue for so long? And can he recover from this? He's not going to be the Harvey that we ever knew because at this point he's not that Harvey. I think he's going to be known as somebody who was a tremendous force in the film industry and uh, reshaped the independent film industry. He reshaped Oscar races. He produced an incredible amount of uh, great movies. Mm -hmm. And he's also going to be known as somebody who had a absolutely horrific pattern of sexual harassment. All right, well, Dana, thanks so much. Well, while the jury is still out on Harvey's legacy, he did launch two of Hollywood's biggest celebrities, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, with 1997's Goodwill Hunting. Do you remember the first time you met him, the first time you guys got to, you know, have a they conversation? They walked into my office, Matt and Ben. I read Goodwill Hunting. They said, we need a million dollars or Castle Rock is going to take the movie away from us in 30 days. And would you write a check for a million dollars on two guys who nobody knew? And you know what I said? Yes. Weinstein, clearly they're in much better times. And this story is developing at a rapid fire pace. Yeah, it's far from over.